my uh, backup alarm clocks, both battery and wind up, and I think they worked. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I set them when I noticed the lights flickering last night, and also that noise of hmm. That noise I found out is actually fuses blowing in some of the power distribution circuits, so that's what can happen there. Either way, it's a reminder that ice is nasty when it comes to power lines and trees. Mm. As you drove down roadways deeper into the South Sounds this morning, you could see the heavily ice-coated trees, making them look like they were encased in glass, which made them brittle and quick to snap like what we saw on Taylor Road in Orchard Park with all this chilling activity as those drooping or snap branches and limbs draped the power lines with extra weight. In some cases, they also came down on roadways like Jewett Homewood here in Orchard Park. And then here on Center Road in West Seneca, where even part of a utility pole seemingly snapped off, taking down the power lines again. In a neighborhood like Dale Road off Timberlake and Orchard Park, a small army of utility workers, some from West Virginia, Florida, and Alabama, to tackle difficult backyard power lines, leaving one lady and her husband to power up her generator to keep the sump pump running to avoid a very wet basement. This generator, you said that's actually a loaner? Yeah, a friend of ours, bar oh, we borrowed it from them uh, a couple hours ago. That's wonderful. So hopefully not too much longer. <laughs> Elsewhere down the street, another homeowner just trying to stay warm with a fossil fuel, which some in Albany may seek to take away in the future with the suggestions of the State Climate Action Council. We have a gas fireplace in the back room, so that's keeping the house warm, which is nice. Otherwise, we you know, put on the fireplace and you know, that only goes so far. Uh, particularly for this reason right here, I thought about it today because the gas fireplace is my backup. You know, if the electric goes out, what's your backup? Now again, they're hoping for power restoration into the evening hours. One thing I want to point out here real quick, guys, I'm just up here and I noticed off the Embassy Suites building and also it appears that uh, office building, the M&T building right next to us here in the 200 block of Delaware, I'm actually seeing what appears to be sheets of ice coming off of some of these buildings. So be careful if you're walking around them. Uh, again, just another hazard to be aware of is just maybe you saw ice flying off of cars.